Stephen Gerrard has, has spoken a lot about noise, ignoring noise on the outside. Mm. Do you think there's noise on the inside at the moment? Do you think there's too much noise uh, around players and contracts and transfers and, ev- and and stuff that you don't really want to be getting involved with compared to what's happening on the pitch? Well, I think what happens off the pitch always affects what happens on it, Rob. And, and you don't know what is going on in certain players' minds. Um what, what really surprised me is that um, 18 months ago, Alfredo Morelos didn't get back to Scotland in time to prepare for a Scottish Cup tie at Tynecastle. Stephen Gerrard left him out and gave him a rocket, a public rocket. Now, here we were 18 months on. A couple of weeks ago, Stephen Gerrard openly admitted, I don't know when Alfredo Morelos is due back in Scotland. Mm. And it, it was astonishing to me that, as, as Gary says, Rangers' biggest game of the season, bar none, and arguably their best hope of getting a goal in that tie was nowhere to be seen. And, you know, if I'm Rangers, I'm now looking to cash in on Morelos if I got a half-decent offer. And they won't get top dollar. In the same way that Celtic won't get top dollar for Edward now. They're, for me, they're going to have to take what they get for him. But, but I think with having two years left, Davy Rangers would be in a stronger position than what Celtic would be with Edward, wouldn't they? You know, I... I I think they have to be careful what they let him go for and how that will come across to their supporters. That's what they have to manage. Plus, you would think that Alfredo Morelos is probably the most valuable asset. A goal scorer. Everybody wants goal scorers. And come towards the end of the window, managers always will go to chairman and owners and say, I need a forward. I want a goal scorer. I need someone who can get me goals. That's going to make a difference. That's the that's dream they sell to their chairman and their owners. And if Alfredo Morelos is still available and he's still at ranges at that time, that's when the value could slightly go up just because of the need for a centre-forward at that time. But I said, I think they have to be careful that they don't allow the momentum to swing even further towards Celtic and allow it to drop off a little bit towards Rangers because you wouldn't just, I wouldn't say disinterest, but you wouldn't just deflate the Rangers supporters, you would deflate the Rangers team, thinking that's our two best players. They've gone, yes, they've got £20 million in the bank, whatever they've got between them, but suddenly the players are looking around and thinking, right, who's going to be the inspiration? Who's going to be the difference in these games? And that's where the balance comes in. Is it a gamble? Yes, it is. But we talk about the 35, 40 million pound Champions League money, Davey, for next year. If you win the league, do you gamble for that? Because you haven't made Champions League. Is that the gambling aspect? It's certainly a big question for both clubs. I, I, I don't think Rangers will get top dollar for Morelos now. And, and buying clubs are not stupid. They do their homework on, on the clubs that they're going to approach. And they will know that they know how Rangers work. Rangers directors have been throwing money at this. The, the books do not make any sense at Ibrox at the moment. Rangers at a club who need to get some money in now. And, and you know, anyone who's interested in Alfredo Morelos will know that. So they're going to couch their offer. They're going to lowball Rangers. Um, and I, I, I don't see, even with two years left in this contract, I, I don't see Rangers getting anywhere near 20 million or, or these, those kind of numbers for Morelos. Tell Alexa to launch Go Radio or listen on the Go Radio app.